Blessed be the name of God Almighty. By the special grace of God, I am going to be talking about on this very topic, Kaibo tribe is the greatest tribe on earth. Now, the reason why I'm going to be talking about it is because I need somebody out there to be educated based on who you are as an evil person. Now, I'm going to say the things that I'm going to talk about based on the Word of God. And the reason why I'm going to use the Word of God to expand what I'm about to say to you at this very moment. Now, as you go to the Bible in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, I'm going to read verse for us. And it says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray or, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Now the Bible says, if my people who are called by my name, I wanted to acknowledge that word, that sentence is that because the word of God is carefully chosen. If my people who are called by my name, and I begin to discover something as an evil person, and I begin to look into our names of the names we bear as evil people. And uh, before even I, before I even go further, I now want to tell you the evil tribe that I'm talking about. Where are they from? Evil people are one of the major tribes in Nigeria. And Nigeria is in the West African. And in that Nigeria, the Igbo tribe are in the eastern part of Nigeria. They are in the eastern part of Nigeria. And why are they so special? I'm not saying that all that tribes are not special in the hands or in the eyes of God. But I want to always tell you that something or that sometimes that even the people that God prepares. Why? Because when you read your Bible, when uh, when, uh, uh, Rebe um, uh, yeah, when Rebecca conceived the twins of Esau and Jacob, and the Bible says, Jacob I love, Esau I hate. And that does not mean that the reason why God said that he hates Esau is not because in that sense that God hates him as a person. But what the word of God was trying to you know, bring into our mind is that God prefers um, Jacob more than um, uh, Esau. And even that is, I mean, that says that something also happened also in this in New Testament in John Gospel chapter 1. When John the Baptist was about to introduce Jesus, he said that the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. That is the one that the God Almighty prefers. So, in other words, at any moment from now, I am going to be the out of the picture, and the one that God prefers will begin to manifest Himself. So, that is in the sense that the Bible was talking about the uh, Jacob I love and so I hate. So, what he was just saying that God prefers uh, um, Jacob. 
So, and you got to understand that also that's also the people in this earth that God also prepared. Not that he hates other tribes, no, but he prefers this tribe. And that's why, because as I begin to look into the names of the, the, the names that we bear as a people, our name has something to do with God. Now, let's say, for instance, my own name is called Izuchuku, meaning the plan of God. So, it will be difficult now for you to look into that tribe or the names that we bear in that evil tribe. You will discover that all our name has something to do with God. So, and that's why the Bible now says that, that if my people who are called by my name, because you are being called by the name of God. And that's why, because we have forsaken God as evil tribe. And that's why you see us suffering as the people that have no God. Why? Because we have forsaken the things that connected us to God. We have broken the promise and the covenant that we have with God Almighty. And because when you have broken the promise you have with God Almighty, the next thing that happens to you is going to be trouble. Now, let's say, for instance, in Nigeria as a country, and as Igbo people, Igbo are the most people that love Nigeria as a country. And they are so patriotic about Nigeria. But it burdens my mind upon they are the people that want to integrate in the whole country as a Nigeria, and they are the one that suffers much. Why are they suffering? Because most of the time, people see them as the people that are coming to take over their lands. And that's why whenever you see other tribes, you know, making comments over the evil tribe, you begin to ask yourself, is evil people alien in Nigeria? What I mean by alien, are they strangers? Are they people? Are they non-citizens of Nigeria? Because anywhere they find themselves in Nigeria, those people or the state they find themselves will hate them for just nothing's sake. And most at times they will begin to say they have come to take over their states or their tribes. Because evil people are so industrious. And because they are so industrious, and that's why they became enviable of Nigerians. And that's why they hate them just for nothing's sake. And I want to tell you, and a simple person, that you are not just hate for nothing's sake. It's because of the covenant that you have broken with your God. And that's why your God now leaves you not to be running up and down where you can find a greener pasture. And that's why whenever you go on to the all states, all states that are in Nigeria, after you count the indigenous people of that state, the next people will be the Igbo tribe. Because they can integrate. They are the only people in that country that can invest in other states. Even living, they're not even investing in their own part. They have invested a lot in the western part of Nigeria. They have invested a lot in the northern parts of Nigeria. If you see the houses, the hotels, the industry that has invested in these places that I just mentioned now. It will shock your mind why they are in those 
places investing huge, investing huge in their infrastructure and in bringing jobs to their people. At the same time, they are being hated. And that's why the Bible now says that if you are who are called by my name, because you are called by the name of God, like I just told you, my name is Isuchuku, that means plan of God. So our names is connected to God. And even that's why when you begin to look into other names of people, sometimes their name doesn't even have meaning. But your name as evil person has what meaning. And the reason why you are suffering, the Bible says, is because of the covenant that you have broken with your God. And that's why even most of the times you are being killed. Why? Because you have lost it. And that's why, you know, I want to tell you that you being industrious and also you being blessed is not by accident. It's because God has preferred you. But you need to understand that when you have broken the covenant, that gave you that privilege to be preferred before God and you got to understand that it's going to affect you. And that's what the Bible is telling us here. If my people, God is saying to you, but if my people who, who are called by my name, who has my name in their names, we humble themselves. So what do you need now to do as an evil person you need to humble yourself. Because don't allow people to confuse your mind that we want them, you know, most of the time they say they want to go back to our way of worship. And their way of what they are telling you about is to go, is to go back to idol worship. Evil tribe has never been idol worshiping people. Because the name of God is was upon them. And that's why our forefathers, whenever they are doing anything, they will tell you we don't want to do anything that will, either that will cause abomination on the earth. Now, because we believe that is somebody either that called Chukwukike Abiyama or that, that called Shineke or that called Olisabinigwe or that called Oliseboloa. So, and that's why whenever they are blessing Koranot in the morning, uh, they always recognize the existence of the Chukwukike. And Chukwukike is the uh, 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 God of creation. That's the meaning of Chukwukike, God of creation. And they recognize the existence of this God. And that's why whenever they are doing something, they don't want to do anything that will offend that Chukwukike and also the, 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 the God of the earth. Because they believe that if they commit any abomination, the earth will kill them. Because they recognize that this earth is holy. So don't allow people to confuse your mind that our uh, forefathers we are watching, that our uh, idol worship was our way of his life on the pit of earth. It was the people. It because when they were doing you know tribal wars, when you know when they were fighting against each other, sometimes you know wanting not to take over the kingdom, they will go and begin to acquire power from the devil. And because they're using those power not to go and you know to for war. So, and that's where this idol worship came. It's not that, that they, they, our forefathers were worshiping idol. 
Our forefathers, our real forefathers, we are worshiping to Pokiki. That's a God of creation. So don't allow people to confuse your mind by telling you, ah, they, you know, they, these are people, you know, they, 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 they we are, no. Humble the self and pray and seek my face. So what is the Lord is wanting you to do as a naive person is for you to seek his face, not to be, not to go to, uh, to go and begin to worship idols. Seek back the face, seek Face, seek face the. I mean, seek the face of God, because when you begin to seek the face of God, that's when God now said, and you turn away from your wicked ways. Turning away from your wicked ways is knowing that you are a blessed race. You are a blessed tribe. You don't need to commit murder. You don't need to steal in order for you to make it a life. You don't need to kill somebody. You don't need to do money ritual for you to make money. Because you are preferred by God. It's because of the covenant you are broken that are making you to suffer. And as a result of that, you are going into the things you're supposed not to go into. So, and that's why you got to understand that the Bible does say, and you turn away from that your wicked way. Because the wicked thing that are happening in this time right now is mind boggling and it's mind blowing. That you will see people getting, you know, girls to be pregnant and be going about selling the babies and they are using the babies to make rituals. These and these are these things are happening as a result of the things you have done, and that's why you go about not thinking that that's the only way you can be blessed. Listening to me is a curse you are bringing upon yourself because you and I are preferred by God, and because we are preferred by God, it means we are blessed. So, and you got to understand that the reason why you are not going into those areas is because you think it is that place that lies for me. Why? Because you are forsaken the first one, and also you have turned away your face from God. And the Bible now says, and turn away from your wicked ways. Because when you begin to hear the kind of thing that happening in our, you know, place, you will sometimes want to cover your ear. And that's why God is warning you because you are, you are called by his name. And then I, I will hear them from heaven. He said he will not hear you from heaven. He will not hear you. Now, knowing fully whether you have come back to him. So what the Lord God Almighty is saying, as you, as an evil person, you need to come back to him. And as you come back to him and renew the covenant you have with him, and then, then, only then that God now will hear you from heaven and begin to give you that preference that, that you desire. And begin to give you that privilege. And begin to give you that preference. And we forgive your sin. He will forgive you of the sins you have committed. And then your land will be healed. You will no more be running away from your land. Because the reason why you are running away from your land, thinking in other lands is where you are greener past your lies, is as a result of where you have found yourself. And that's why you see the most evil people, they don't want to stay in their region. Why? Because they don't even want to invest in their region because they are running away from their place. Why? Because they are beginning to say their place are not fertile. They are beginning to say their place cannot yield any fruit. It is not that your place cannot yield the truth, um, um, yield fruits. 
but it's because of the things you have committed. And that's why the Lord God Almighty is beckoning you to come back to him so that those privileges he has given to you will begin to manifest once again. And you begin now to invest back in your land because God at that point will heal your land and your land will not become fruitful. Why? Because at the moment your land is not fruitful and that's why you are running away to find a greener pasture in other places. Like they will say, if you enter into any place in both countries or village or towns or state and any person are not there, you got to know that that place is not fruitful. Because people know you, that you are fruitful people. So what am I saying as I round up this message? I want you to understand that you occupy an important place in the heart of God as evil person. So stop being subservient to people. Stop those slave mentality because you are born to be a king. So you don't become like what the Bible says in Ecclesiastics that I have seen something under the under the sun, under this heaven, that a servant is walking, is riding on horses, while the prince is walking in a barefoot. That is the portion. That is what is happening to you. It is your tribe that has something. We have the technology. Because in our place, they call it in Kanozo. It is inborn in us. In Kanozo, that is technology. But because your land has been caused as a result of you broken your covenant with God, because you have gone to worship idols, and because you have gone to worship idols, God has forsaken you, God has turned his face from you, God has abandoned you, and that's why you need to take those idol worship aside and burn to all of them because. God can never share his glory with any man or with any idols or with any gods. And you will know what God is going to do in your life. But I want to bless you for this one's oh God, oh Father, that's half the word of God at this very hour. Lord, I thank you because you have allowed me, oh God, over to minister to them. Lord, even as they begin to key into what you just said to them at this very hour, let there be, oh God, oh Father, a manifestation, and let there be healing in our lands, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And the people say the amen and the amen and the amen.